Hey y'all, my name is Katie Davis and I'm a mixed media painter. My work is very layered with paint, paper, and even coffee filters. I use a lot of coffee filters. Um, and those items give it a rich tactile surface. I love the physicality of paper and paint and using the cut paper allows me to problem solve more quickly than if I was using only paint. So I start with a mix of colors that I wanna use and then I lay out all the papers around me when I work um, and that working process allows me to make fast, intuitive decisions because most artists know that intuitive decisions are usually the best decisions. I see my work as a form of mental mapping. So the cut paper connects to the physical, um, it connects to physical maps, which are a really huge influence on my work. I've always loved paper maps just for their abstract beauty and how one piece of paper can symbolize a vast amount of land is still really magical to me. So every piece in this show at Roy G. Biv Gallery is a kind of map. Um, so like all, uh, many artists of our time, I'm trying to make sense of this new modern reality of no centralized place to call home. I grew up in Ohio, I'm native to the state, um, and I moved back a couple of years ago, but I've lived in seven different states in my life, and I have people I love in many different locations across the US, and it's hard to have your memories stored um, in different, uh, just housed in different places. I have an asparagus patch that I started in Illinois and a nursery that I painted for my first baby in North Carolina. So how do we make sense of all of these formative experiences that were so physical and real? How do we connect these memories um, to what our present life is? I know I'm not alone in this. So many of us modern humans feel this weird sense of floating through time without an anchor. The past few years, my work has become a lot about this mapping out my memories and emotions and time that are so fluid and fleeting. I think about movement. I think about a feeling when I work. I think about anchoring a memory to a certain color or a certain composition in the piece. Um, all of this work, they're abstract paintings. You can see behind me. They're abstract paintings that I hope can tangibly hold a feeling in them when the viewer sees them. Uh, maybe something the viewer brings to the work as well. Um, and a sense of connection. So that is what I want, connection and place in my abstract paintings. Thank you. <laughs>